everybody, Do Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Gakuen Club. We are on Toma Sakai's route. He just won first place with the whole Gakuen Club challenge thing. So I guess we're going to find out exactly what that means soon. Hopefully. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Everyone congratulates Toma on his win. Toma is apprehensive at first, but he seems to be able to accept their well wishes now. A few days later, with the final nightclub competition behind us, things seem to settle down a bit. Toma has brought me to the library. I'm sure he's trying to tell me to study. I did rather poorly on my last test, and Toma found out about it. When our last class ended, Toma had told me to come with him, and now we're at the library. Not only did I start out behind in my academics at this school, but I've had a hard time concentrating on studying. Toma looks rather serious reading a difficult book in front of me. Um, Toma? What am I doing here? Can't you figure that out? It's to help with your grades. Yeah, I think he wants to make sure I pass so I can stay by his side in the same class. Then I can do that on my own. Aren't you too busy to be doing this? Not really. Don't worry about me. I can still study acting here. Toma says and shows me the book he's in the middle of reading. From the title, I can tell that it's a book on acting. It seems he's in the middle of studying it as we speak. You study. I'll watch you as I study. That's two birds with one stone. Yes. Um, can I ask you questions if I get stuck with something? Of course. But you're so amazing. You're still able to study even when you're so busy. I wouldn't say I'm really that busy these days. I don't think that's true. Tama, you've worked really hard to get where you are. Where is this suddenly coming from? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I didn't really care much about anything until I met you. Since then, the world has started to change. It's more interesting. I don't know how I'm connected to changes Toma's experienced, but if it's something good for him, then... I'm going to keep my mouth shut and simply watch over him. I need to focus on studying now. If nothing else, I'm able to spend time with Toma like this. That should have been enough to make me happy, but suddenly that's no longer enough for me. Feeling this definitive change within me, I secretly make a decision. And what is that? I must be closer. Since the last rankings were announced, the club has been the liveliest it's ever been. Some come to meet Toma after hearing the rumors, and they fight over Toma. Yamalka tells Toma that everyone is asking for his talent agency, and that things would settle down if he just chose one. I wonder if Toma has already thought about it. Once he chooses an agency... He's going to start his new career as an actor, isn't he? I'm really looking forward to it. I follow Tomo with my eyes as he walks underneath the mirror ball. It's bright, and I find myself squinting as I stare. Phew, I think that's the last of it. I use my sleeve to wipe the sweat off my brow and look over the back room. I finished with tomorrow's prep, so that should be that. I wonder how everyone else is doing. I peek out to the dining area and see Minakawa and the others talking on the sofa. Where's Toma? With me! <sighs> I see Toma looking very serious as he's reading a magazine in the corner of the back room. Should I say something since I finished? Toma, what are you looking at? Oh, um... It seems like his mind is elsewhere. What could it be? An audition magazine? Aren't you just going to join an agency that's interested in you? I'm thinking that I want to create my own opportunities first. Even if this will take you longer? I want to start my acting career from the beginning. I don't want to use my old modeling contacts. I see a look of quiet determination in Toma's eyes. Please, just tell me if there's anything I can do to help make your dreams come true. Where is this coming from all of a sudden? What are you talking about? I've been supporting you this whole time. I just can't sit around anymore. I want to help. I'll do anything. I'll be your manager. All I do is tell him how I feel, but Toma just sits there dumbfounded. Huh? Huh? Um, Toma? I would appreciate it if you would consider where we are before saying something like that. Oh. <laughs> what? Did I say something strange? I cover my mouth with my hands and look away from Toma. Come with me. What? Um... Toma takes my hand and starts to drag me away. Where to? Toma, um, wait. 
Tom is walking, but I need about two steps for every one he takes with his long legs. Okay, I don't think anybody can hear us here. Thomas stops and says quietly, Toma, what's the matter? It's because of all the strange things he said in front of everyone. What were you thinking? No, never mind. You weren't thinking, were you? I know. That's just how you are. Th that's a little hurtful. I wonder why he sounds a little mad. I studied Toma to figure out why. Did you mean that earlier? Earlier? You mean that I wanted to help? Yes, I meant that. I see. Then I'd like you to always stay by my side. Would you do that for me? W what does he mean by that? I should be happy, but I suddenly stop when I remember how he told me that he's always looking for someone to latch on to. I want to be by his side, but... Tama grabs me by the arm and pulls me, forcing me to face him. I hesitantly look at Toma before quickly averting my gaze. Oh... Why are you looking away? So you won't do that for me? Come on, Akane. Of course I want to, but I don't want you to depend on me. I want you to make your own decisions. Can't he do both? He can depend on you for other things, just not the decisions. I know that. You know? But you just said you wanted me by your side. It's not that I want you to depend on. It's because I like you that I want to always be with you. Even if you say no, I'm going to stay by your side until you feel the same about me. But I already do! What? My mouth moves, but no sound comes out. I can hardly believe it. Does it mean that I can say the same thing? I... I have feelings for you too! Uh, um, I... I have feelings for you too, Toma. They're the words I thought I'd tell him after he won first place. I had thought I would be a burden to him, but now I have to tell him how I feel. My embarrassment grows exponentially as I have to put my feelings in the words. I can't look at Toma directly. Um, it's just so sudden. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Y you're right. It's strange to be apologizing, but I'm just so embarrassed I can't help myself. I'm happy that you told me. I care about you. He looks at me kindly. My heart beats rapidly and my chest constricts. I feel like I'm in a dream. The army's grad feels hot, but I'm also somehow feeling detached from reality. It's like a dream. Is this really happening? I've caused so much trouble for you. I thought you would reject me. I, I wouldn't do that. Besides, I never once felt like you were troubling me. That's so like you. It's an offhand remark, but I feel my chest tighten. Am I strange? Yes, yes you are. How many times has Toma told you that? But he's strange too, so it's okay. There's something I'd like to ask you. Is that okay? Of course. So actually, the headmaster wanted to see me, and I have to go there now. I nod, able to tell what Toma's going to ask me. I'll come with you. Thank you. I take Toma's hand with my free hand, and not even thinking about being embarrassed anymore. Toma quietly squeezes my hand before he begins to walk. Hooray! We tell everyone to go on home without us. It's not long before we find ourselves in front of the headmaster's office. Okay, you can wait here. What? You're going to make me stand outside? Okay, good luck. We let go of each other's hands. Don't make me wait long. But strangely, I don't feel disheartened. It must be because Toma has a reassuring smile on his face. Toma should be fine now. I really hope so. Please don't let this be the calm before the storm. I remember what had happened just moments ago as I look up at the night sky through the window. Does this mean that I'm Toma's girlfriend now? Toma's words are still floating in my head as if this has all been just a dream. Ah, of course, they always end the chapters where you don't want them to. Uh, Thomas just walked into the headmaster's office, and I'm afraid that he's going to tell him that if he wants to be in show business, he has to be single. Effectively, possibly ending our relationship before it even starts. But I had the feeling Toma would just say no. He would probably say, nope, I'm not going to do a career if I can't be with my girl. You're late. I was just thinking about leaving. I'm very sorry. I got lost. Oh, I don't need to hear your excuses. 
First, congratulations on finishing first place. Well done. Words of your exploits even reached me. Thank you. I did not think you knew. I pay closer attention to the nightclub staff than you think. I see. So, your wish. Am I right to assume that you would like to return to the modeling world? Yes, but regarding my mother... I will allow you to do it your way. I shall tell your mother not to interfere. Really, thank you. The Minakawa group will be assisting you, so I will have a more detailed schedule prepared for you later. Okay. However, there is a condition. Oh, here we go. Condition? What do you mean? I finished first place, wasn't that the condition? Yes, you did finish first place, but you have to eliminate distractions. Distractions? It seems you have been particularly close with a certain female student. She stayed with you when you collapsed. What? If you want to return to the entertainment industry, the condition is that you have to sever your ties with her. Why? She's not something that needs to be eliminated. You are going to become a product. A talent agency can't have any pesky bugs crawling around their merchandise. <laughs> That's all I have to say. You're dismissed. Please, could I have some time to think about this? You can, but I think there's only one feasible answer. Yeah, and he's got to say no. Hmm, what could they be talking about? I really want to know. That was just a little too predictable. With nothing to do, I'm starting to get bored. Around the time the dark hallway begins to feel scary, the door to the headmaster's office opens, and Toma walks out. Toma, how was it? Oh, um... There's a darkness to him that he didn't have when he first entered. Did something happen? The headmaster. Toma stops abruptly. Toma? Is it something you can't even tell me? Seeing Toma's behavior grips me with indescribable anxiety. What could he have said to him? I can't even make an educated guess. All I can do is wait for Toma to tell me. This is my last test. What? Toma? Toma is walking away. Just moments ago, we had been walking side by side. But seeing Toma's back now fills me with worry. I run and overtake Toma. Toma stops in surprise. Tell me, what did the headmaster say? Toma bites his lip with frustration and crosses his arms before slowly opening his mouth. He offered to help me return to the entertainment industry. I thought so, but isn't that a really good thing? It doesn't explain this dark expression he has now. But... Toma gradually tells me the condition the headmaster had set for him. No... Now I understand the pain in his expression and the terrible dilemma he has. But what about the acting thing where I said he wanted to do it on his own with no agency? My fear of becoming a burden to him has become true. This isn't right. The happiness I had felt begins to wither. Tomo places a hand on my shoulder to comfort me as I have my eyes cast down. I look up and see Tomo still has a pained look on his face. He avoids my gaze as he mutters. Let's go. With that, Toma begins to quietly walk. There's nothing I can say to him. My mind remains blank as I simply follow him quietly from behind. Oh yeah, that was way too short. I'm combining this with the last episode that we had because we can't move on! Yeah, as, as I had notified everybody in the beginning, we can't read the endings to these. Because those are the conditions that Dogen Zakalas put on these uh, games. This game seems to have kind of a bit of a fan following, and I definitely encourage you to buy the game if you've enjoyed the videos, because, you know, the art's gorgeous and the voices are great. You can hear the original Japanese voices if you buy the game <laughs> and play it for yourself. And yeah, you know, you can read the endings for yourself. Ah, uh, I really thought Chapter 15 would be the last chapter, because I guess I was thinking it was going to be, like, Charming Empire. But nope. But we definitely know, you know, it's a given pretty much that in the good ending, we'll, we'll be together. In some way, shape, or form, we'll be together. What, next I'm going to read... Is it Takizawa? The uh, the guy with the glasses? Whoever the pretty Magane boy is, that's whose route I'm reading next. <laughs> I think it's Saku Takizawa. 
But yeah, when I start that, I'll let you all know what kind of endings... I mean, I, I can't tell you what the endings are exactly, you know, because I'll get in trouble. But I can tell you if the normal or bad ending is actually bad or if it's kind of neutral. Because, you know, the, the old Dogenzaka games were the best ending was really happy, but then the normal ending was also still happy. But <laughs> sometimes even better than the best ending. But um, you know, they were just both happy endings and just a little bit different, basically. So, yeah, I'll let you know if... The normal ending is happy or bad. Or maybe even better. So hope to see you in the next video to start a new guy, or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.